pretty likely looking gal, Bill. Here she appears to be sound in wind and limb. Did you buy her or make a trade for her? <laughs> She's a friend of Ortega's from down Laredo Way. I think he stole her, if you ask me. <laughs> if business keeps up like this, you'll have to change the name of your place to the mint. That's an idea. Or maybe I discovered gold. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to hobble her to keep her from straying. She's got a wicked eye. <laughs> <laughs> Start tearing your dancer apart for souvenirs. Just sing out, and I'll come running. You leaving, Sherry? Yeah, I gotta meet a party over at the office. Oh, there you go. Hello, senores. That Lolita, is she not old that me, Ortega, has said? Mm, that and more, Ortega. Now look around. She's dealt me a full house. You can take the word of Ortega. In me is the blood of kings and queens. Yeah, and jacks and tins and deuces. <laughs> so long, Bill. <laughs> The sheriff! Somebody shoot the sheriff! Get that traitor! Si, senor! There ain't nothing we can do, Clay. He's done for. What went on here? Don't know exactly. We heard some shots when we was over in the bar. Yes. Didn't know where the shots come from first. When we found out, we was too late. It's that murdering gang of raiders again, striking in the dark. It must be. Old Jim didn't have a chance. Shot him in the back through the window yonder. Well, there ain't no use standing around talking. I'm going to start something. Old Jim was my friend. He was everybody's friend. Whoever done this is going to get caught up with right sudden. Them's my sentiments exactly, Clay. Let's get outside. I've got a lot of straight talking to get rid of.
Folks, I kind of hope we was rid of them raiders that's been causing so much trouble hereabouts, but it seems we ain't. They sneaked in here and killed our sheriff in cold blood. We're going to camp on the trail of them murdering wolves and shoot them on sight. No questions asked. <laughs> The sheriff, Letty. The sheriff? I've got to see him. He asked me to ride in tonight. He said it was important. You can't see him now, Letty. He's dead. Dead? Shot down without a chance. Folks, it don't seem fitting to do any long preaching with old Jim lying in there. Rustling cattle's one thing. Killing a man from cover is another. Especially when that man's the law. I, for one, aim to hunt down the killer. All those of the same mind, lift your voices. Folks, seeing as how we're going to be without the law for a spell, I reckon it would be in order to ask Clay Wheeler here to sort of act as sheriff for the time being. Thank you, gents. If that's the way you want it, I'm ready and willing. And I ain't gonna lose any time ascending for a ranger to clean things up around here before the trail gets cold. That won't be necessary, gents. Who might you be, stranger? I'm one of the men you were talking about sending for. Oh, ranger. Mm-hmm. Hayden's the name, Jeff Hayden. Howdy, Hayden. Mighty glad you're here. Wheeler's the name. Howdy, Wheeler. Hayden, we sure need your help. Things around here... I heard it all. I'm mighty sorry about Jim. I was just dropping by to see him. He was an old friend of mine. We're all hard hit. We sure need you to help straighten things out. And you can count on me to help. I will. Old folks, I guess you heard who this gent is. Name's Hayden. Howdy, Howdy Hayden. Hayden. Howdy. Oh, uh, this is Miss Winston. <coughs> oh, pleased to meet you, Mr. Hayden. Thank you, Miss Winston, ma'am. I know this was going to happen to the sheriff. You knew it? How? He was in my store yesterday. Said he's going to light up a fire and smoke out some skunks. Is that all he said? Yep. I guess the skunks must have heard about it. Senor Clay! Senor Clay! The doctor, he's dead. Dead? See, si, I opened the door and there he was, dead, shot in the back. Come on. Mama, see, pronto. I can understand them gunning for the sheriff, but why did they want to kill poor old Doc Tatum? That's something I've got to figure out. But what are you going to do? I reckon I'll do what old Jim would have wanted. Sort of loaf around here until I pick up the killer. Good morning, Clay, but you're only partly right. How come? It's not only a good morning, it's a perfectly gorgeous morning. Them's my sentiments exactly. Last part kind of fits you, too. You amaze me. That's a very nice compliment. Well, I ain't much of a hand at telling them sort of ideas, but, well, you know how I feel about you. Yes, I do, Clay. And I'll never forget how much I owe you. Oh, you can forget the owing part. That's nice of you. I feel kind of bound to you account of my promise. I know. To Dad. He didn't need to ask me to promise. He knew I'd look after you after he passed on. You have, Clay. And I've needed you. You've been like a big brother. I kind of aimed at something more than being a brother, Letty. Oh, I think a lot of you, Clay. 
Where are you off to so early? It would be criminal to stay indoors on a morning like this. Thought I'd ride downtown and get the mail. Expecting a letter from one of them Eastern fellas you met away at school? Oh, don't be foolish, Clay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to seem foolish, but of late I've been sort of feeling that way. Why? Well, you've been seeing a lot of that fella Hayden lately. Well, I like him. There's no law against that, is there? No, but the way things was before he came. Oh, please, Clay, after all. Well, it kind of rankles having people laughing and talking behind your back. Oh, I'm sorry, Clay. Oh, forget it. Say, when I sit in a game, I take the cards like they fall. Now that sounds more like you. Yeah. There's one thing I want you to remember. What's that? No matter what happens, this is your home. And always will be. I'll remember. You're sweet. That's everything, Leif. Son, it's just like I told you again and again. Ain't nothing changed. Maybe not. When Letty's father died, she was away east at school. He left everything to her. Is that right? Yep. But when the smoke cleared away, Clay had the old man's notes for most of it. Ranch and all. Oh, I see. The old man took Clay Wheeler in as a partner, eh? That's it. Letty still thinks the place is hers. Not a nice of Clay, letting her think so. Why, he could move in and put her out any time he's a mind to. Son, you are a barking up the wrong tree. Got to bark up all of them, Lee. You can't tell what might drop out. Tatum was the old man's doctor, wasn't he? Yeah, but he's dead. He was a good friend of the sheriff's. Best friend. I think I'll use Doc Tatum. Use him? Are you touched in the head? He's dead. Maybe his ghost will walk. Yes, maybe he, uh, ghost walk. Are uh, you ailing? Maybe something you ate. Leif, living here with you and hanging around the store has let me in on a lot. Now I'm going to let you in on something. You can trust me, son. I know it. Well, notch my years. So that's why you come here. Yep. And that's why the sheriff wanted Miss Letty here that night. And that's why they killed him. But there ain't nothing in that pointing to nobody. You said a while back you thought I was barking up trees. Yep. And what's that got to do with it? I think I'll just keep on barking up them. Morning. Howdy, Miss Letty. Well, good. Good morning, Lady. Any mail? Good morning, Letty. I think there is. Do I read a good morning, Miss Letty, or do I? Oh, it's you. Yes. Good morning, Jefferson. Maybe Jeff will do. All right. Good morning, Jeff. Oh, that's much better. Uh, here you be. Well, not much, but I didn't have the ride for nothing. Well, you'd have seen me, and that's something. <laughs> better let me carry the meal for you, Letty. A load like this will get you all tuckered out. Maybe I should have brought a pack horse. <laughs> a pack horse? Is that and got you? If you don't lead easy, lady, give him a jab with your spurs. I've got to ride out to see Wheeler anyway. Come on. Goodbye, lady. Goodbye. They are love making. If they ain't my aunt's my uncle or something. Howdy, Hayden. Hello, Wheeler. Climb down. Thanks, I will. Thought I'd ride out in Palaver a bit with you. Well, that's fine. Uh, Letty, Rosa's on the rampage in the kitchen. What again? I'll go quiet her down. Anything new? Nothing except I was thinking of leaving. Well, that's too bad. But I had to change my mind. How's that? I ran on to some interesting stuff in Doc Tatum's thing. 
Anything worthwhile? Getting that way. Part of a cool trail at first, but it's getting warmer. That's so? Yeah. I've been putting things together lately. And if it works out like I think it will, I'll be calling on the killer. I hope you do. I'm all put out the way that gang takes to cover, leaving no trail. So am I. So long, Wheeler. Goodbye, Hayden. Say, uh, let me know if anything new crops up. I sure will. Bye, Jeff. I'll think that goodbye idea over. So long. Ortega! Ortega! What's the trouble? Did you see Ortega hanging around the kitchen? No. He's never around when I want him. I've got to pick up some stuff over at the horse camp right away. I'm short-handed and I can't get away myself. Stop fretting. I'll drive over and get it. Say, if you would, it'd be a big help. Of course I will. Now remember, keep a tight rein on them. Don't worry, I will. Too close to suit me. You know a little more and... and you'd have had to find someone else to ride with morning. I wouldn't have cared much for that. That's mighty nice of you, Jeff. Kind of thought it would be. That team hasn't been broke long and they got the jump on me. Say, mister, you're always popping up when you're needed. Is it a habit? I'm going to try to make it one. Leastwise in special cases. Hope you do. Thanks a lot, Jeff. You're welcome, ma'am. Oh, I, I was riding back to give you something I'd forgotten. Pack horse forgot to unload his mail. <laughs> you know, it's mighty comforting having you around at times, Jeff. Yeah, that's what my dad said to me once when a mule kicked at him and got me instead. <laughs> <laughs> but, senor, 
Maybe the senorita makes marriage with him. That would be very bad. She's not gonna marry him. No, senor? No. I'm gonna deal hate and nothing but misery from now on. Ha <laughs> bueno. Uh, but he laughs at me, Ortega. Someday I'm going to kill him. Sangre de Chango, it is too much. You're not killing Hayden at any time. Now get that straight. <clears throat> but Lolita, she loves me like the fire until he comes. You've got to learn to take your medicine where women is concerned, Ortega. <clears throat> Maybe he take the medicine, not me, Ortega, no. You heard me. Si, senor. Play. Oh, I thought you were in town. Up the bay, Ortega. I'll join up with you. Si, senor. Just a minute, Ortega. What was that trouble between you and Mr. Hayden? It was nothing. Go ahead, Ortega. What was it, Ortega? Well, I'm sorry you overheard, Letty. Well, seeing that I did, I'm interested. Knowing how you felt about Hayden, You'll I... You'll let uh... that pass, Clay. Well, it seems that Hayden has come between Ortega here and his gal Lolita. Si, senorita. And, uh, Senor Clay said to take the medicine. But no, not Ortega. That's enough, Ortega. Get going. Si, senor. Well, I guess you've heard about enough to come out in the open with the rest of it. I think so. Since Hayden came to town, he's been mixed up with that Spanish dancer, Lolita. I don't believe it, Clay. Well, I, I didn't believe it myself at first, but... It seems that he goes over to visit her every afternoon before she goes to work. All right. Now, she'll probably be in town watching. And if she ain't, that's all right, too. Now, what's coming on? When he goes to Lolita, I go, too. But, senor, I know all what you tell me. Well, go ahead. I want to be sure that nothing goes wrong. I shoot him and he's dead because he insults Lolita. Then the people come. She cries and says that Hayden is one bad man. And when I come to help her, he has tried to shoot me. But Ortega was too quick for him. That's it. Time to make sure. Sure. That is too easy. I go. Oh, Susanna, I'll have you on my knees. Oh, Susanna. He who shall a horseshoe find and chuck it over his shoulder behind, good luck to him will come a-busting in before you can say Jack Robinson. They got me, boys. They got me. <laughs> What's the matter there, old timer? You, what'd you hit me with? <laughs> Nothing. The horseshoe you chucked up in the air bounced off the roof and got you dead center while you was reciting. It got me right smack dab in the same spot for a Comanche engine once belted me with a tomahawk. <laughs> Are you all right, old timer? I don't see any blood. No. Well, I don't bleed easy. All of my folks was thick-headed. <laughs> Guess it looks like me and you both kind of run out of luck, son. Well, I'm uh -huh. I was aiming to tell you about some fancy lying I did to Wheeler this afternoon. Lying? About what? Old Doc Tatum. Thought I might stir up something. Yeah, but Doc Tatum's dead. So is the sheriff. Yeah. Seems like anybody that knows anything around here gets dead sooner or later. They sure do. Here comes Clay Wheeler now. Well, sooner than I expected. Good old Doc Tatum. Hello, Hayden. Hello, Wheeler. Can I have a word with you? Sure can. I'm like a mule, all ears. Shoot. Clay, here's a list of stuff they want over at the ranch. Or take it for noon. All right, Clay. I'm going in and rub some of that uh, kickapoo snake hole on my head. It's a hurt. <laughs> all right, Clay. You know that Spanish girl that dances over at Bill's? Yeah, Lolita? That's her. She sent me word that she's got something to tell me about the sheriff's killer. Wants me to come over to her place. Hmm. Wants you to come over to her place, huh? You going? 
Well, I thought maybe you'd like to handle this yourself. Of course, if you say the word, I'll go. Maybe I'd better. No, I'll drop in on her. You're acting sheriff, and sheriffs around here has been mighty unlucky. Lately. Hey, uh, what comes after spuds on that there list? Oh. Coffee, 10 pounds. Uh-oh. Same handwriting. Looks like Doc Tatum's ghost is working for... Eh? What'd you say? Oh, nothing. Oh. I'll sit around. And if it's anything worthwhile, we can act quick. I don't guess I'll be long. Come in. Senor, why do you come here? You sent for the sheriff, didn't you? The sheriff, yes. But not you, senor. I'm acting for the sheriff. You can tell me anything you've got to tell. If you are sure, senor. Get him up. You come to steal Olita from me. That'll be enough out of you. See the lady's clothes on the bed there? Or well, climb into them. You can turn your back if you're a mind to. But, senor... Uh... Hop to it. Feeling better. Hey, Clay, did you ever try any of that there kickapoo snake oil? No. Made with the engines. Mighty good stuff. Yeah. I never tried taking none of it inside yet. That's all. No. But I tried it on a sick pig once, but when he got it down, he sure did look surprised. Ran on his hind feet and started squealing, and then took off down through the woods like a bullet. <laughs> yes, sir. He didn't come back, so I don't know whether they cured him or not. That's all. I've been afraid to try it ever since. No, 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 yo, I got no heart. Suffering bluegill, what's that? Now get out there and shake that tambo and kick up the dirt lively. Oh. I got a bastard. <laughs> I was asking the lady a few questions when that half-breed come busting in and accused me of stealing his girl. Bungling fool. I'll have him whipped off the ranch. Oh, I wouldn't do that, Wheeler. Maybe we should have let him in on the play. Maybe so. But I'm all riled up about it. So am I. And when you see him again, just drop him a word in passing that I'm a mite put out with him. I'll tell him that and plenty more. 
So long, Hayden. So long, Wheeler. Say, what the Sam Hill was that Artego a jumping around in that there get up fur? He heard a gun bark leave. And maybe it wasn't barking up the wrong tree after all. Hey, dude. Come in again. So long, Leif. So long, Ed. Howdy, Leif. Any mail? She ain't come in yet. Hey, is uh, Hayden around? No. He went out to Tim's place on the mesa. What'd he go out there for? He heard that somebody was using Tim's shack while he was away. I'm going to drop into Bill's. Tell Hayden I was in. I sure will, Clay. The sun, she is hot, and he's long in coming here. Come on. Ah, bueno, eh? Vámonos. <laughs> I never cared much about him till now. Gosh, Amari, what do you mean coming through the window for? I'm not supposed to be here. I was worried. What you up to? I'm playing dead. What are you talking about? The bunch took a lot of pot shots at me this afternoon at Tim's cabin. Left me for dead. Them raiders again? I don't know. What you gonna do? My ghost is going to do a little walking. See what he can pick up. There you go again, talking about a ghost walking. You ain't sure enough tits in the head, are you? No. Come on. I never hear you sit talk. Books. I can't believe it. Si, senor. It is true. Shot at Clay, huh? That's bad. Senor Clay, he tell me to tell Senor Hayden. But I think it is best to tell you. I'll tell him, Ortega. You sure are loaded down with news. Everything she happened, you know, very quick. And it got me staggered. The same with me. Oh, hello, Hayden. You're just in time. Hello, Bill. Well... If it isn't my old dancing friend, Ortega. Senor Hayden, I'm very sorry about the big mistake I make about Lolita. 
We all make them, Ortega. See, si, see. Si. I can stand a few of them, but if they come too frequent, I'm a mite put out. See. <laughs> Ortega here just rode in with his saddlebag bulging with surprising news. Well, unloaded. I haven't been surprised in quite a spell. Clay Wheeler was shot at by them raiders this afternoon. Did he get him? No. That's mighty serious, him being a near bridegroom. Bridegroom? <laughs> Who is he marrying? Well, that's the surprising part. Ortega's been telling me that Clay and Miss Letty is getting married tomorrow. That's so. Hey. Kind of sudden, ain't it? it? Sure is. Nobody around here knows nothing about it. That's the way things happen around here. It's a habit. Going? I'll leave Leaf here to chin with you. You're turning in early, ain't you? Sure. Got to be fresh and rested up for the wedding. You get an invite? No, but I'm going. You are? Sure. They might need a best man. Too many mistakes, Ortego. Oh, quite a despera de que me tire quebrar el pescuezo, señor. Ah, auxilio. I figured I'd have to get you alive. <laughs> no, no, señor. Uh, Tried to get me like you did the sheriff, huh? No, not, not the sheriff. Who got him? Wheeler? <laughs> My neck, the, the, the window, she cut it off. Oh. You better start talking, Ortego. When I call him in, they'll find you dead, hanging from the window. I guess that's as good as a tree. Wait, wait, senor. I'm waiting, but not for long. S senor Clay, he killed the sheriff. I swear it. That's a good start. Now keep coming. He thinks the sheriff knows about the senorita's father. Miss Winston? Uh, si, senor. You can talk all you like, but that gal ain't marrying Wheeler because she wants to. Most of my wives wanted to marry me. I can't understand why. Looking at you. Good night. I don't guess there's any need for a trial. I've got enough to hang you all a dozen times. No, 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 senor. Not me. Senor Clay. The sheriff. Let his father an old Doc Tatum, huh? Is that you, Leif? Yeah, it's me, Jeff. Come on, I'm a coming. Jumping frogs, you got him. You got him and more. Play wheeler, I bet. Yep. Ortega here has been reasonable. Only needed a little persuading, and he was right eager to talk. What'd he tell you? They got the sheriff and led his dad. Led his dad? He was ailing. Wheeler got Doc Tatum drunk and gave the old man the wrong kind of medicine. Poisoned him? Yeah. And made Doc Tatum believe he did it himself when he was drunk. What a miserable coyote. Sorry to have to stop you, old timer. I like to have the pleasure myself. But we need him alive. He's our chief witness. Let's get the boys. We'll take this skunk out there and blast Wheeler out in his boots. Wheeler would shoot him before he could open his mouth. And besides, we don't know who we can trust around here. You're a rider in rain. We don't. Well, you sit right down here now. And keep him covered until I get back. Oh, where are you going? I'm going to get myself a bridegroom. Huh? <laughs> Let's have something with a little more ginger in it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Fine. Fine.
Bill Brown helping me celebrate my coming wedding. We are sure, out. Oh, that's the spirit. You know, I don't get married every day. Sure is a card, isn't he? <laughs> he sure is. Sure. The bride says she wanted a quiet wedding. So I only give invites to the elite. Elite. That's us. <laughs> Say us. The boys is watching outside. Only there ain't nothing to watch. There ain't going to be any visitors around here for quite a spell. <laughs> oh, there's something we forgot. What's that? Well, we forgot to drink to the bride. Oh, well. Gents, the bride. To the bride. Get him up pronto and keep him up. Turn around, Wheeler. What's your idea of coming in here this way, Hayden? Just to let you know in case you are interested, there won't be any wedding tomorrow. And that you're under arrest for murder. You're drunk, Hayden. Drunk or sober. What I said goes. You're a yellow killer. Get out of here, Hayden. I'm getting out, and you're coming with me. Now start walking over here. to think of getting away. There's no time to explain. You've got to trust me. I did once, but that's past. I give you my word, he's not in this room. Let's have, have a look anyway. He's in there. Letty. Yes, Clay? Open the door. There's been some trouble. Just a minute, Clay, till I slip something on. Coming, Clay. Sorry, Letty. These men are looking for Hayden. Hayden? Yeah, he ran through the house and they had an idea he might be in here. How dare they? Seems he's gotten into trouble with that dancer in town. They're bound to get him. Well, he's not here. You can see that. There you are, gents. It's just like I said. Well, he's around here someplace. Oh, Sorry, Letty. This couldn't be helped. I understand, Clay. I owed you that. You saved me once, now we're even. Get out! He's lying, Liddy. Wheeler's a killer. Get out! You've got to listen to me. I've got every proof that Wheeler killed your father. Liar. Get back to your Spanish dancer. I'm going. But I'll be back. Clay can take care of that. I'll be back in time for the wedding. You can tell Wheeler that for me. Ortega in here, dead to right. Ortega? Yeah, he tried to get me a while back like he got the sheriff. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Watch yourself. Me. 
I got it coming. How did he get away? I just closed my eyes for a second, and he got me. Oh. Just closed your eyes for a second, huh? It was my fault. I should have known better. Now get down to cases, Bill. I had Ortega here, put a gun under his nose, and started squealing. Now what did you get? Wheeler's a killer. He killed the sheriff, led his dad, and old Doc Tatum. Gosh almighty. Clay Wheeler? We gotta get help and round him up. The way things have been going on around here, who are you sure of? You got me, I don't know. If we're not careful who we pick, we'll liable to get shot in the back. We've got to work alone. You can count on me. I've known that from the start, Bill. Now with Ortega gone, it's my word against his. And Clay Wheeler will find some way to skin out of it. We've got to have a showdown. Do we go now? No. We'll wait till morning. We've got to get them out in the open, or they'll pick us off and blame it on the raiders. Well, what if he marries Letty before we get there? If there's a wedding, there'll be a funeral right after it. It'll be Wheeler's. Keep out of sight until you hear shots. But the gate's locked. They'll open it. And don't do any shooting until they're outside. Lead is in there. We're set. And when I open up, they'll come tearing out. And make no mistake, we want Ortego alive. I wish that Ortego fellow would come out first. This takes me back to the time when I was a scout. I wish I had my coonskin cap with me. Well, he ain't got a leg to stand on. No proof of anything. Nobody's gonna take his word against mine. That's all he's got. I've been running things around here for a long time. And I'm gonna keep on running. Now I've got it all planned out. See, si. Senor Clay, he always... Shut up! If it wasn't for the wedding, I'd... Uh, si, Senor. While we're away on the honeymoon, you boys know what to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And don't make any mistakes, because I won't be here to take care of them. Get ready, Bill. He's up there. I'm going to allow a mite for the wind, so to plug him dead center. Mr. Wheeler, will you come in? Coming, Judge. You boys get to your places and keep your eyes open. The rest of you, come on. We are ready, sir. After you, Judge. Thank you. Hats off. Oh. Now, if you will just face me. Clay Wheeler, take Letty Winston to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Do you, Letty Winston, take Clay Wheeler to be no, your... No, no, no! Letty! I can't, I can't!
Where's that Ortego? I'll wing him on sight. Get out there and get him before we both swing. Uh, uh, si, senor. Uh... Everything is all right now, Letty. Get going. Hold it. We got him. The rest don't need getting. Where's that they are taking? <laughs> In the, he's mine. <laughs> Jeff, I... I... Wait, wait a minute, honey. Ortega, you've got just about a minute to tell Miss Winston here that everything I've told is the truth. Uh, si, senorita. Everything. Senor Clay, he killed your father. The sheriff. He killed them both, I swear it. What? Ortega! Oh, Jeff, there's nothing I can say. Well, honey. If you don't feel like talking, we might go in and see if the judge is willing to do something. 